Hello everybody, I'm doing a five minute session for Johannes. This is another follow up. I'm going to put a link to the beginning of the sessions. <laughs> so you can, if you, you're not familiar with all uh, the backgrounds, then you can access the link and, and check it out from the beginning. Okay, so we're going to be diving into the golden orbs that Johannes has been working with in order to better his energy balance and his experience. I'm just going to pull this up really quick, okay? and share a little bit of insight into what he had said. Okay. So we are going to continue where we left off. And then also, can you figure out if the golden orb integration went well and what comes after that? I know there are at least six more pieces after I integrate all of the seven orbs, but I don't know yet. And um, what these pieces are might be very complex. Okay, I'm going to dive into these orbs. <sighs> Let's see what we can find out. Are these orbs a distract? I mean, are you, are these orbs actually of value? Because I step into your energy field and it has nothing to do with the orbs. It's almost like it's distracting you from what matters most, which is you going into your heart. I can't even access them. I mean, I should be able to bam, there they are. But again, I'm being pulled into what is more important, so much louder than the orbs you're creating. I mean, universally louder. So much more meaning here than what the or golden orbs are all about. This might be perplexing for you because the golden orbs have meaning to you. So how come these orbs don't have meaning in the journey? <laughs> Let's see if we can find out. Okay. What are we gonna, what are we doing here? Okay, this is gonna get a little strange. It's weird. How do I describe what this place is? It's like I'm in an eye, but there's no ball. There's no eyeball. There's just the essence of I. And we're not talking about I as in myself. Perhaps this is a play on words. Perhaps I'm in an I. I myself or E-Y-E, eyeball. No ball here. I'm standing in an I and it's kind of uh, like a, got the softness of the inside of a flower where the bumblebee goes. So I can actually, it's like a carpet, but it's much lovelier than that. And it's just, I'm literally touching the wall and that's what it's like. This is a trap. <laughs> just so you know. It's all boxed in. You created this for yourself here. This isn't necessarily saying it has anything to do with the golden orbs, just so you know. You're looking for something, but again, it's... Uh, how do I describe this? The more that I look at this room, it's black on walls, ceiling, floor. The floor actually has kind of a vortex like it goes down um, into an upside down triangle, uh, almost like a drain. And there's lots of black goopy energy that is oozing and going down into the drain. And you are looking, 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 looking. There's literally nothing here to see. There's like zero here. It's totally an illusion. It's just totally illusion. I'm going to put golden orbs in here for you, my friend. I'm putting golden orbs in here. And I just, I'm literally going into a sacred state of being. Because you matter. A lot of sadness. Ugh. A lot of sadness, exhaustion. You're trying, trying so hard. <sighs> These golden orbs start to create sacred geometry. And this entire imprisonment is starting to uh, alter its wall ceiling. It's starting to alter its dynamic shape from a cube with this upside down triangle drain like thing. Which is also revealing one on top as well but it's uh, altering all the the lines that create the shape of it all and it's creating some sort of golden sacred geometry a 
but it's not done yet. I mean, see, it looks like it's done, but really, if you go deeper, you, you're creating a lot of illusions for yourself because as I go deeper, deeper, deeper here, you want to present, ta-da, I, I, look what I did. And, but I look deeper and I say, you, you've got something beneath the surface of this that is much louder than what you've created. The sacred geometry has no sound. But what's deeper is a lot louder. So I'm going to get rid of that. It's just block, 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 block. Layers, 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 layers. So I'm just, it's like, okay. And I'm pulling what is way in there and I'm just pulling it up and out. And I say, stop hiding. You need to face me. This is the best you can do, this. You you look like a, a skinny, uh, well, somebody starving um, in poverty. And you're trying, I mean, you are trying sincerely trying and it uh upsets you but you're not hurt you're not offended at all you're not offended at all but i say but this is you i want to talk to you don't play games with me <laughs> i know you johannes at the human conscious level are not you're totally legit but you've got this going on inside yourself, so I have to be direct here with your deeper stuff. Because it's doing things that it needs to stop doing. And that's going to help you as a human being. Okay. I say, this golden orb stuff isn't you. I want to know who are you. You're trying to, again, the past life... You're trying to access an essence of yourself that you once were. And it's as if you want to start where you left off. So let's say you became this super extraordinary like sorcerer of the universe. And then you passed away or you moved on from the life. But you've never been able to get back to that point of awesome. And you want to start where you left off. So as awesome as you were at the transition, you want to begin there. And you haven't been able to. You've been trying, 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 trying to get back to that point. And that's when I say, you don't need to. Why, why do you need to get back to that point? What is so important that you do that all over again? Does the universe actually need you to be that? Or are you selfishly wanting to be that? Because if you, if you want that like a kid, it's like, I want that toy. If I don't get that toy, I'm going to try, 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 try until that toy comes into my life. <laughs> and maybe you're not meant to have that toy, you know. So in a weird way, there's a selfishness going on. Because you're telling the universe, that's what I need in order to be happy. Well, the universe is going to say, well, good luck with that. Because the universe doesn't need that right now. And it's super balanced. It doesn't. Otherwise, you would be that. So the minute that you can let go of it, which I see as some sort of extraordinary matrix that you're building here to get back to that point, um, it's, it's weak though. It's like totally weak. It's not going to work. So if you could just let it go, and then when you least expect it, it will happen, okay? You're again pretty angry with me, and you have a lot of jam here in your heart about it. There's a lot of golden, uh, I mean, golden stuff growing out of your heart here. It's a total block. It's pretty, but it's not healthy at all. Okay. I got to do something really quick in order to feel complete with the this. Let me see what I can do. I'm taking this part of yourself and I'm, I'm placing it in the central sun. So um, it's just the idea of what is a, 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 like a universal point of healing um, where there is light and there is love and there is peace and balance and, and it's okay to vent. It's okay to hurt. It's okay to express challenge um, and you're going to be nurtured there. You're going to be incubated. You're going to be supported. You're going to be taken care of. 
this part of you needs that, needs that a lot. So I'm asking that the central sun space um, share some energy downloads to help you with the, with the trusting and the guidance of the universe, um, not needing to control what it is that you, you're meant to have or meant to be in your life, allowing it to fall into place and being in joy of the surprises of life. You know, you can't really get life surprises when it, you have to be in control of everything you receive. So what if the universe has a lot in store for you, but it can't give it to you because you've decided what it is that the universe, you know, what you want, and that's what the universe needs to give you. So the universe will never be able to surprise you, and your life isn't going to be that exciting because the universe has much more in store for you than you're telling the universe that you're, you're wanting to receive. Because you're limiting yourself, okay? That's it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Johannes. It's really interesting to see how the journeys unfold. And for those of you watching, if you're interested in connecting with me for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I hope you all have a great day.